Welcome back to the VST channel. Dennis Please Tech here, guys, with the latest and greatest smartphones and SLC CPUs. Apple iPhone 17 Pro with the Apple A19 Pro built on a 3 nanometer process. Hexa-core CPU with two big cores running at 4.26 gigahertz, guys, and it's using the Apple GPU 6-core graphics. This thing in the middle is the Xiaomi 17 Pro Max with the latest and greatest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 LED Gen 5. Again, built on a 3 nanometer process, guys. We've seen that previous year ate a lot but this is taking it to the next level with an octa core setup again two big cores clocked at 4.6 gigahertz guys using orion version 3 phoenix adreno 840 for the gpu and last but not least guys this is the oppo phoenix 9 pro this is using the mediatek dimension the latest 9500 chip with a 3 nm process guys again octa core setup one big core running at 4.21 gigahertz guys using the arm g1 ultra gpu in this video i'm going to put them through the wildlife 3d mark extreme stress test and just see what is going to happen before we start all right i just want to measure some basic temps the phones are really stone cold guys i didn't use them at all these days so they're absolutely just coming out of the morgue and we can confirm this also with our thermal camera you can see absolutely stone cold everything really is like that and now it's time for some action all phones connected to wi-fi the iphone has 45 percent of a battery the xiaomi 47 but yes this should be enough to get the best out of this and the Find x 9 pro has more battery but guys Guys, this should be irrelevant because this test is there is no way the test is gonna consume 20% of a battery because below 20% the phone might decide to kind of limit so wildlife extreme stress test we are going to start this guys I'm gonna measure every five rounds what is gonna happen temperature also with my temp gun and the thermal camera and at the end we are going to crown one of these phones to be the king of synthetic benchmarks. No, without this, it's synthetic, guys. This should not really affect that much the real life performance, but hey, I need to do this using the tools available. So we have the latest and greatest, the best chips on the market right now. And yeah, we have to see what is gonna happen because this thing is the smaller version, is the Pro, not the Pro Max. So maybe uh, the heating is gonna be a bit more. Maybe the thermal performance not that good compared to the iPhone 17 Pro Max. But guys, we cannot really have them all. So I'm doing everything I can with the tools that I have. And by the way, this has been sent kindly by my friend System Hacks. I even don't own this phone. So, Let's try to see what is going to happen in the next 20 rounds. All right, guys, the Xiaomi 17 Pro and the Oppo Find X9 Pro are already in round number five, 17 Pro Max, and the Apple iPhone is now finishing it. So let's try to see. 35 Celsius for the iPhone, 38.6 for the Xiaomi, oh, 44, yeah, for the Oppo. Let's try to bring in the thermal camera, guys. Ooh, the maximum temp you can see is 50 Celsius for the Oppo. What about the Xiaomi? All right, it is around 50 Celsius, kind of the same. What about the iPhone, guys? The iPhone a bit lower, 48, but you can see definitely all phones are having some, huh, party time in achieving this oh 51.1 for the oppo already so the oppo definitely running hotter compared to the xiaomi and by the way i'm not using any kind of performance mode so yeah maybe the xiaomi is already throttling a bit the iphone is now running with the exact same temp as the xiaomi and somehow is one round behind but okay it could be because that's a smaller phone we don't know but anyway it's a 19 pro let's keep going we are now ready at round number 12, uh, 38.1 for the iPhone. I can feel the heat rising, 45.3 for the Xiaomi and the Oppo, yep, 45.2, the same. Now let's try to see what our thermal camera will show, 45 indeed for the iPhone. This is the hottest area here. When I move around to the Xiaomi, 51.4, guys. What happens with the Oppo, guys? The hottest area is 50, okay, 50.4. So it seems that the Xiaomi right now, yeah, is taking the lid with the best and the hottest fan of temperature. One more time, Oppo Find X9 Pro, 51.4. The Xiaomi 17 Pro Max, okay, 52. And the iPhone is trying to survive with, oh my God. Let's try to move it like this, yeah. 
the strength to survive with 44.8. We are almost there. It's round number 19, almost 40.1 for the iPhone 17 Pro, 46.5 for the Xiaomi 17 Pro Max and 48.7 for the Oppo Find X9. The phones are really going crazy. What is the hottest spot with the thermal camera on the iPhone, guys? It's 46.2. What about the Xiaomi, guys? 50.6. Oh my god. What about the Oppo? I can tell you, this test, although synthetic benchmark, it's really frying them. On the Oppo Find X9 Pro, we are able to measure 51.6. The good news is that all three phones will survive. Because remember the times when Xiaomi phones were not able to survive, they would overheat. Also, there is quite a bit of hustle on the internet about the Snapdragon 8 Lite Gen 5 and OnePlus not being able to survive and etc. But apparently when you put it on performance mode, it is able to tolerate that almost crazy heat above like 50 Celsius. And guys, this is just the heat on the surface. Imagine what really happens inside. I can tell you it's 80, 90. Inside, this is hell. I can tell you. If we have like 50 on the surface and just hovering over the phones with my hand, absolutely crazy. I have a feeling that this is like central heating is on. Really crazy, guys. So, now the biggest question is, who is going to win? Best stability rating, best high loop score, and best low loop score. Let's see. We have now the final results. Just by holding the Oppo, my fingers are burning. Stability winner, guys. What is happening here? 71.1. Oh my God, the small iPhone is just winning. The 17 Pro Max, 17.9 with 0.2, all right? So yes, with only, two, so yes, with only 0.2 points, the 17 Pro was able to win. But guys, very impressive results from the Xiaomi 17 Pro Max. Also, who is taking the second position, all right? Highest loop score, it's here, 6,820, guys. But the lowest loop score is only 3,200 versus 4,400 and 4,200 here. So sadly, the stability rating from the Find X9 Pro isn't great. It's below 50%, 46.9%, guys. But at least, okay, the second place is gonna go here. Who is going to take the other crown? And this is the highest, lowest loop score. This is then the Xiaomi. All right, so yeah, this is a very good competition, guys. Stability winner, this. Highest loop score winner, this. And highest low loop score, this. Honestly, I would pick this. The Snapdragon 8 the Gen 5, absolutely crazy performance, guys. This is the performance range where you can compare the frame rates from the worst and the best loops. All right, you can see. So this is loop number one, all right? And then loop number 20 is where we get the worst FPS. Almost the same here. And you can see how big the gap is from loop uh, one to loop 16 on the Oppo Find X9 Pro. Now, very important, what happened with the battery? From 45% to 30%, 15% loss. From 47 to 34, which is about the same, I would say. And from 95 to 84, I would say it is about the same. What about the temperature? You can see that the temperature 47, 41 here, but I was able to measure the real temperature with my temp gun and with the thermal camera that is on the top. So honestly, guys, yeah, it's a tough choice. Good news is all three phones were able to survive. This thing here, the Snapdragon Adelaide Gen 5 inside the Xiaomi 17 Pro is performing the best according to me because it gives you a very good stability rating. It gives you good best loop scores and also good lowest loop score. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I am wondering if the iPhone 17 Pro Max, the bigger one, is going to perform a bit better. Maybe, who knows, right? And sadly, this thing here is just consuming a lot of energy gets hot too much and then throttles, but the MTK 9500 is still a very capable chip. What would be your choice? Uh, the iPhone, the Xiaomi or the Oppo? Let me know down below in the comments. Stay safe. VST over and bye. Bye.